I'm Bob Romanoff, President of Romanoff International Supply in Amityville, New York. This is a demonstration of the new Indotherm MC100V casting machine. This casting machine is capable of casting gold, silver, brass, platinum, palladium, stainless steel, and similar alloys. It has 19 programs uh, that you can select parameters from depending upon the type of metal that you're casting, the type of pieces that you're casting, whether they be thin, heavy pieces, or whatever. We've already programmed it for one particular uh, set of parameters for casting silver. The first parameter is the temperature at which you want to cast. In this case, we've set it at 1060. The second one is the parameter that indicates that the parameter is reading accurately. The third one is the percentage of power that you want to use for the melt. The next one is if you wish to do washing before the heating, a wash cycle. A wash cycle is a combination of vacuuming and an introduction of argon gas to, wash, to uh, clean out the chamber of any gases that may be in there. The next uh, parameter is the washing cycle while you are heating and you can determine how many washing cycles you want to use. The next one is the melting pressure. That means the amount of vacuum uh, that the chamber will be under during the melting. The next uh, parameter is when the casting pressure will start. That would be the point at which the casting chamber is tilted and the pressure begins. The next is the amount of pressure that you want to put on the uh, casting chamber up to a maximum of two bars of pressure. And the last parameter that you can select is the amount of time of vibration. The vibration helps the metal solidi solidify into a very dense mass while it is solidifying. Uh, generally 35 or 40 seconds is sufficient to accomplish the purpose. Okay. Once you've uh, gone through the different parameters, we're now ready to start casting. You've set them. We've set this as program number one. We now, we've already added the metal. We've put in the flask. We're now closing the casting chamber, okay. and we're going to activate the uh, casting cycle. We push the start button, the metal is beginning to melt. We're also pulling a vacuum, as you can see it going down, uh, so the chamber is melting the metal while it's under vacuum. It will shortly start the automatic wash cycle, which once again is introducing argon gas uh, while the vacuum is in there. Uh, there's two purposes of the washing cycle. One is to keep the chamber clear of any gases that are in there so you can fairly uh, be comfortable that you've eliminated the gases for gas porosity. And at the same time, if you have zinc in your alloy, you need to introduce argon gas to prevent the zinc from vaporizing out of the alloy, okay, as opposed to being under full vacuum. Um, while the metal is melting, I just want to point out that the machine uh, can produce up to 8 kilowatts of power for rapid melting. At this moment, we're only using 4 kilowatts of power for gold, for gold and silver alloys. Uh, generally, you would use 8 kilowatts of power for platinum, which is a higher melting uh, point metal. The casting chamber is completely water-cooled. There is an optical parameter, which is used for the higher temperature range metals, platinum and palladium, and an immersion parameter uh, for up to 1300 C, which is for gold, silver, and brass alloys. The immersion parameter is an extremely accurate method of measuring the temperature of molten metal, and the optical parameter, this particular very sophisticated optical parameter, gives you an accurate control over your higher temperatures of platinum and palladium and so on. When it reaches the temperature, there may be a short override. We only have a small amount of metal in there. Uh, when you have a full amount of uh, normal metal, the, there will be a minimal amount of override. And as soon as it reaches the temperature that we want of 1060, okay, we then can begin the casting cycle. We begin casting by tilting the chamber over slowly. When it reaches a certain point, the feature begins, and the vibration will be on for 35 seconds, which is what we have it set for. In fact, it's indicating now the amount of vibration time, which is going to go down to zero. And the metal is also, obviously the power is off, and the metal is cooling and solidifying while the vibration is on, and also under pressure. 
So you should end up with a very dense um, casting. Much. The vibration is finished. We now have it in the cooling cycle, whereby the metal uh, is cooling. It's changing from a, a glowing red to a dark area. We generally want it to go to a complete cooling cycle so that before you open up the chamber, the graphite crucible is black and not red. This increases the life of the crucible and we'll be ready to open it up very shortly. The machine has a metal capacity, I'm sorry, a flask capacity of uh, up to four inch diameter by five inches long flask. And the metal capacity is 500 grams of platinum, 450 grams of 18 karat gold, and 250 grams of stainless steel. Okay? The machine is a sturdily built machine. We've been selling these machines from Endotherm for more than four years now and the quality of the machine is excellent. It comes with a one-year guarantee. Romanov stands behind the guarantee of the machine and we have the technicians available to answer any questions you have about the machine as well as any casting questions. And we will help you determine what are the best casting parameters for you to use with your individual metal or type of piece.